Well, nicely done mention tonight to a huge community effort in Blair, Nebraska. It's one thing to show up and volunteer and put in four hours of work. In this case, it's been going on for 25 years. The door goes up at 8 every Saturday morning, and in they come with loads and loads of garbage, greeted by an army of volunteers. We're uh, celebrating our 25th anniversary here at the Recycling Center, and it has been this strong for all of those 25 years. 25 years of this because there's no curb recycling in Blair and Washington County. This is white paper. That goes in this bin. Lamara <laughs> Ike is one of the founders of this effort. It's, it's great when you look back and see that you, you know, 25 years looking ahead sounds like forever, you know. Al Beckman is 89, a World War II vet. It's a great chance to get out of the house and... I get to work between women here. And there are volunteers in every corner of the building. On this day, the Lions Club, high school students, and college students. Polyethylene paraphernalia, the number one, then the number two plastic, high density polyethylene. That we split based on whether it's undyed or colorless. North Common would be the number five, the polypropylenes, which is most of your cottage cheese containers, your. Um, you want it dumped? Your. I, I don't even know what else you can make up. It. A lot of stuff. Just make sure it goes in the right bin. Every volunteer has a specific job. So you guys, can you go a little bit faster than this, you think? Or? <laughs> we do between eight and 9,000 pounds of newspaper every Saturday. Four hours of this, tons of recycled garbage, nothing goes to waste. And it can be sold to support a host of nonprofits in the community. Last year, we donated a little over $20,000 to those organizations. This is my job, so. I won't get my bonus if I don't. We love to recycle! Yeah! <laughs> a little bit of enthusiasm there. I can hear your chuckle, too. <laughs> Did you hear it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it all started with just a small group of people mm -hmm. determined to do something great for their community. Looks like there's an amazing number of volunteers when you were there. A lot of people, and they told me that wasn't unusual for that day. And uh, they also said that uh, that money that they're making, they're selling, they recycle, and some years they make as much as $40,000. They give back to the community. So it's a great deal. Nicely done. Well, still ahead.